in our history, and we might see something like that you're soon. You say bringing troops home, doesn't yeah. that sound And he did nice. it discreetly, he did it gradually. You know, he announced, you're gonna have to kind of take this control, but he, then he started bringing them home, and so it actually got us out of that conflict and let them take care of their own thing. So all that in 1969. Right. Moving to 1978, this is interesting, the world's mm -hmm. first test tube baby is born. That's right, just a few short years after that, and of course that was Louise Joy Brown, who now is a mother herself. So I can just remember how controversial all that was, but brought great joy to that family, and now many, many families later, and she's a mama herself the old-fashioned way. Oh, <laughs> so very successful, That's the test right. tube baby. That's uh, right. 1999, Lance Armstrong wins Tour de France. That's right, for the first time after coming back and battling uh, cancer himself, testicular cancer, and of course he went on to have a phenomenal career, so just recently Good retired. Time. He so. is very motivational. Yes, he is. That was an incredible fight. And then went on to have a child, too, which yes. people say yeah. is even more of a miracle because he should have never been able to conceive children again. So we applaud Lance Armstrong and all of the people who face that brave battle with cancer. Yes, because it's a tough one. So we were speaking of Nobel Prize winning scientists, and now we have to take a look at why are they so much smarter than the rest of us? I'm not for sure, but But tell who me, better wacky, to start with wacky than trivia. Albert Einstein? Because when I was studying, doing my little wacky research this week, I found that, did you know that after Albert Einstein died in 1955, his brain was removed? for the study of science. Oh my goodness. Now, what is so Gives incredible about this about is it. because it was then stored in a mason jar <laughs> marked uh, cider for, oh, you know, say till the 70s. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Seems as though the well-intended physicist that wanted to study his brain, and, and there is some speculation as to whether Einstein Somebody agreed was a to that or greedy. not. greedy. Well, and kind of just, boy, talk about your procrastination. Yeah. <laughs> so, and actually, you know, my hometown, Kansas City, I'm always so proud of, but we do have weird and wacky stuff that happens there, and yeah. the brain was held nearby. <laughs> and so it was somewhere close to Kansas City that his, uh, oh, we're jumping to the trivia question, but we'll come back to the trivia well, question because brain. we have more brain stuff that we want to talk about. <laughs> and but that's, just, that's crazy. It was crazy. But they did finally, in the late 70s, begin to study it. And what they found was at first they said, no, there wasn't any startling difference. But then as technology advanced, they've looked at it again. And aside from some other differences, the thing that they noticed most is that the glial cells, or glial, forgive me if I'm pronouncing it wrong, uh, are very predominant in his brain, which they've studied those in mice, and mice that don't have a good diet and poor nutrition, so mm -hmm. on and so forth, have very few of them. Wow. But as you have more nutrition, so on and so forth, you have more glial cells, and then that helps you, your thought process. Well, I guess he just had an overabundance of them. Also, not to mention the fact Einstein. that he was thick-headed. His, <laughs> his brain was quite a bit denser than the average man's really? brain. Really? Yeah, so if someone calls you thick-headed, it ain't such a bad deal. You say, yeah, well, so was well, Albert yeah. Einstein. So was Einstein. But I do have well, just a few What a comeback comment. I do have a few more brain so, facts so was Einstein. for you. I'm not, not smarter than a fifth grader. <laughs> I'm not either. That, that ice skating question, Little Missy, that's, yeah, that's kind of a tricky one. We'll look at that later in the show. Okay, so getting back to the glial cells and the amino what acids. Is this? If you have a fat head, you're smarter because your brain is made of fatty acids. Even though our bodies weigh about the same as a sheep's, our brains are 10% bigger. So what you're saying is if someone calls you a fat head, that's, that's right. not that mean either. That's right. Well, no, but if they call you, heads are smarter I guess than if you. they call you a sheep head or a goat head or you're stubborn as a mule, never mind. No, I'm off track. Here's a, here's a little tidbit <laughs> for you. The brain of a two-year-old consumes twice as much energy as adult brains. I did know that. Yeah, so I do you, remember that from college science. If you look at them and you think, man, they're just thinking all the time, now you know why, because they're busy, busy, busy. Yeah, their minds are just going a mile a minute and they're... And finally, and I think this explains a lot, is that by the age of seven, our brains are 95% of their adult size. So if you wonder why well, we sometimes act like children. <laughs> it's because about time seven comes on, we just, we're done. That's also why um, they say that children, you know, that's when they develop right. all of their, a lot, well, their characteristics right. and everything. And so a lot of their, by, by about seven, they're, mm -hmm. and the 
that's why. Now you know why. why. You can change them, but it's a little bit more complicated past the age of seven, and I guess that's why. That's right. So that that last five percent, folks, is a leap. So get in there and get busy and work real hard on it. That's right. And don't be sad if someone calls you a fathead. That's right. It's okay. You're such a fathead. <laughs> say thank you. If someone calls you a fathead, say thank you. And uh, what we're gonna is let's say happy birthday. Birthdays? Your birthday was yesterday. Yeah, it was. That's right. And now um, it's not I heard all about it's, you anymore. I know. I heard it's Walter Brennan's birthday. Yeah. Do you today. Know, do you even know who Walter Brennan was? I bet you don't, because um, you're such a young girl. Walter Brennan, no. I absolutely love. He was an old crotchety kind of guy, but people absolutely loved him, and I especially loved him in Darby O'Gill and the Little People. So I have to say that about the Walter Brennan. That's right. Moving right along to Rosalind Franklin, molecular scientist. Why is she important? because she was uh, found DNA. She's the one who started the whole oh, wow. uh, work and research into DNA. And Estelle Gaddy. Everyone loved her from Golden Girls. Oh yeah, my mom loved Golden Girls. Right. Walter Payton. Incredible running back. Um, oh, Matt LeBlanc. Our All goofy right. Joey from <laughs> Friends. And of course... Everybody had a friend like him, honestly. That's right. And of course, test tube baby Louise Brown. Like I said, she was born in 1978. We have a little trivia question for you before we go to break. It's about the brain. Say? Yeah. Okay, what percentage of our brain do humans use on average? So, what percent of the brain do you use on average? You know, like right now, what percent of your brain are yeah, you using? Yeah, that's what I was saying, like when? Like that's right. Every Some people second, think it's hour. only 10%, so you email us at ozartv.com and let us know what you think. What is the average amount of your brain that you use? Hmm, and use stick around. That. We're going to be back with, uh, let me see, I think our boss, Paul Meyer, is going to show us who he was on the hot seat with in Branson when we return <laughs> on Ozark TV Channel 98. get all the latest and best information about Lake of the Ozarks? Ozark TV, of course. Ozark TV will be randomly asking where to go for lake information, and if you answer with Ozark TV or OzarkTV.com, you will win cool prizes. Ozark TV, your source for everything at the lake. In the pines, in the pines, where the sun never shines, and you shiver when the cold wind blows. Darling, little darling, what happened? Ozark TV and the Missouri Water Patrol have teamed up to provide valuable information to boaters. Watch Ozark TV for the latest news on weather and water conditions. Ozark TV, Channel 98, providing news you can use while enjoying the water. Welcome back to Ozarks in the AM. I'm your host, Deborah Wolf. As I said, Chris and I aren't the only ones that get out and about. I'm joined by Ozark TV owner Paul Myers to tell me about his recent trip in Branson and his time in the hot seat. Hey, boss. How's boss? Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, recently, we went down to Branson. But first of all, I just want to say that do you know what is coming up? Tell me your <laughs> six month anniversary you know, of hosting this show. Isn't that amazing? Five shows a week. That's Five shows is, a week? Uh -huh. That's just it's, amazing. Just count how many how many guests you've had I on, know. how many issues we've talked about Absolutely. on this show. And better and better all the time, you know? Right. And not just Ozarks in the AM, Ozark TV. I mean, throughout the day, folks can find out what's going on. But also, I love the new boating tips that we're putting on throughout the entire day where people know what kind of license they need in their boat, you know, exactly. what to look for on the water. Everyone can check that out all day throughout the day, and I think that's important. Water is, is uh, the lake is such a, a big part of this community. and. Um, trying to get the message out that uh, safe boating is very important mm -hmm. here. If we can save a few lives, we hope, exactly. all the lives. Unfortunately, we, we've had a very devastating uh, uh, summer, mm -hmm. again, with the uh, unfortunate uh, tragedies we've had. 
but if we can if we can save uh, lives here by giving out information about safe boating, right. how to pass when, mm -hmm. when a boat is approaching, how to turn a boat, um, those type of things. What wearing the life vest, yeah, and, and what uh, when you should wear them. Um, that's very important. And then, of course, we've been checking out all the festivities and events that have been going on with the Ozark TV Roadshow and 365. The Roadshow is big.